Hey guys, Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. This is a full blown review on Safari Lens ALS holster to 6378 specific for the Sig Sauer P226. Stand by. This here's Coda Boy 32 coming at you live. Hey guys, Coda Boy 32 here. Check it out. A couple weeks ago, I went ahead and uh, purchased one of these Safari Land holsters for the uh, TriStar T120. And I was really impressed, one, with the fit and finish of the thing, the way the firearm just fit in there. So I did a little bit more research, said, you know, I uh, got some points on Amazon. Let's go ahead and uh, get this, <laughs> start out for this uh, Sig Sauer. So, guys, if you know, I've got the uh, Sig Sauer Tac Ops. Uh, by the way, check it out, man. Finished up the uh, stippling on the mag base, base plates here so that they match up here. So, anyway, this thing came out really, really nice. But, anyway, that's beside the point. It's moving on. So went ahead and took bit the bullet, bought this thing, and what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you guys how awesome this thing is. I can't tell you how much I like this holster. Now I've actually taken it out of the box. I've worn it around for three days now, and you know, first of all, the Sig, the, the Tac Ops is a heavy gun, so you really needed some good support in there. Now the interesting thing is this holster right here. Now this is the Sig Sauer version of the paddle holster. Now I'm pretty sure this is either made by Fovis or Blackhawk, whoever makes these things. And it does a great job. But there's some rattling around in there. And the one thing that really I didn't care for is it does push away from the body just a little bit. You know, and, and I'm, I'm a big guy, so I'm not really concerned about a lot of things. A lot of smaller people, they have issues with paddle holsters wearing for kill concealed carry me not so much but this thing pushes away from the body and it's also not as much uh, and actually you know the material strong there's no doubt there but what I didn't like is that there's not a lot of support so level one retention I was looking for something that gave me that level run retention and this guys this is the concealed holster I'll put the model number up there but this is their ALS version from Safari Land let's go ahead and open this thing up and take a look at it Comes packed up like this. That tore open. Again, Safari Land, they come with the belt attachment. Three way adjustable, one, two, three. And it's got these little loops right here in case you need to increase your belt size. All right, get rid of that because I'm not even concerned about the belt portion of this thing. We buy it for the paddle. All right, so comes with some instructions. This is the 6378 model. And I will tell you what. Not as big a manual on this one as there was on the other one, but uh, you got the little Allen wrench screw that comes in handy to do the adjustments. Now, one of the things is there, a lot of people think you tighten it up here. You actually tighten it up down here on the bottom. So, go th over the holster all together. Fit and finish. The material is amazing. I, I, I don't know what it is. It's got some kind of proprietary finish on it. If you look at their website, they've got a couple really good things out there. And again, let's go over a couple things. The belt hook is external and on the actual holster itself. And guys, let me tell you something. When you get it on, it's a bitch to get off. It's not quite as easy. You have to uh, figure out a good system for that. Looking forward into the holster itself, they've got this thing is lined with this suede material, which will uh, prolong the life of the surface of your finish of your firearm. And I'll get some detailed shots of those here in a few minutes so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and stop the thing so we can lighten up this video so you can see in there. Stand by. All right, so what I did was I brightened up the video so you can see inside. But there's that uh, suede lining, and it does a great job. Now, one of the things that I was concerned about was the plastic surfaces that actually did come in contact with the firearm. And one of the things, I don't want to mar up the gun. But over time, you know, you're going to see some wear and tear on it. So I really wasn't too concerned about it. But it's still, you know, hey. All right. So to activate and release the level one retention, this little lever right here, it's it's intuitive, man. It just it happens. When you reach in and you grab for the firearm, you're popping it just like that. This little area right here, no worries there. That's not exposed. That metal surface right there. So you don't have to worry about that. But what happens when you put this in there's a catch that catches on this surface right here and again we're highly exposed so you can see on these dark surfaces and when you press that it pulls it out and you can re release and I want you to listen to this 
that's it and you cannot pull that thing out now watch this when I actually trigger this watch what happens to the holster that is cool as can be and watch how snug this thing is I mean it just it doesn't do a whole lot of rattling you can do whatever you want with it and it rides as comfortable as can be now one of the things that I want to show you comparison with the SIG holster is the distance from the, the body as you can see that it actually sticks the firearm about three quarters of an inch further out so that's a big difference when you do this now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put the holster on so you can see how it is now my big old chunky ass I've gotten a little fat in these uh, winter months so y'all be careful with the uh, comments on that but anyway that's it the fit and finish I mean they're both good holsters don't get me wrong I like this one I'm actually gonna give this to a friend of mine who's got the mark 25 and I uh, go from there but look at that thing it's just and it, and it resembles a leather type style holster but I can tell you something watch just the fit and finish watch Oh, the release. You tell me which one sounds like a toy. That's amazing. All right, guys, so anyway, let's go ahead and put this thing on, and I'll be right back. Stand by. All right, guys, so check it out, man. <laughs> I'm out here in a shirt. It's 23 degrees, but uh, anyhow, this is how close that thing rises to the body. Now, a lot of people say that's not a concealment holster. And, you know, it depends on what your level of concealment is. In the wintertime, you're going to have a bulky jacket on. I really like this thing. In the summertime, I'm not carrying a gun this big anyway. But check that out. That's how it rides. And also, we got the, uh, the double mag pouch over there. So there's a lot of things to be said about a 60 plus 1 packing heat. So anyhow, guys, that's how it rides. Very easy to draw. Very easy to put back in. Just like that. So, uh, I'm going to go back to the table. Stand by. All right. Well, there it is, guys. That's it. There's the uh, the Safari Land model 6378 with the automatic locking system. And I'm gonna, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, one of the things I, I failed to mention is that on these type of retention systems, your finger is here, and that's everybody's like, that's a great place for your finger to be. Well, that's. I agree but it's a normal procedure for me. And I liked how much more of the coverage is on this. Check that out. See the difference? Pretty neat. Just a beautiful gun. It fits in there. It's very snug and clean. With well, guys, that's it. Go to Boy32, support the boys in blue. As always, God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. It's Go to Boy32. Out. <laughs>